Well, good afternoon, and thank you for taking a moment to just pause. And as we pause in this Selah moment, we are going to petition the throne of grace, our Heavenly Father, and pray together. We want you to feel free in the comment section. Please share any prayer requests you might have, uh, as well as any praise report. We would love to hear for you, from you. And remember, we have our prayer wall on our website and so many um, ways that you can connect with us in prayer. Uh, why don't we open up with prayer today and then honey, you go ahead and lead us with you. Let's pray together. Father, we just thank you for this day. Oh, we thank you for brand new mercy. We thank you that we can pause. And for many of us, as we take this moment to pause, we refocus our thoughts, our attention. Many of us may have had challenges that we faced early this morning. We thank you that you brought us thus far. We thank you for a day that is filled with your mercy and your unmerited favor, your grace. Lord, we pray for those who are joining us, that you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, would minister to them. Lord, may we have giant-sized ears to hear you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much for opening us up today. I want to call you to a, a, a portion of scripture. I read this on this past weekend for our altar call. Here's the scripture today. Psalms 86 and verse 6 says, Listen closely to my prayer, O Lord. Hear my urgent cry. I will call to you whenever I'm in trouble. You will answer me. David says, Bend down, O Lord, and hear my prayer. Answer me, for I need your help. Protect me. For I am devoted to you. Save me, for I serve you and trust you. You are my God. And the reason why we have this moment is to acknowledge that he's our God. There is no other God like our God today. And so as we continue to pray, we thank God for those who are here today. I want to pray for some of these prayer requests that we've already received. Father, today we lift up Sarah to you who's going through severe thyroid problems. Lord, today, Marlene lifts her up to you, Lord, today for her name, Sarah. And we pray, we pray by the power of your spirit that you would heal, Lord Jesus. We pray for proper um, medicine, proper attention to Sarah. Lord, today, we pray that everything will go successful. And we ask this according to your will, and we ask this by faith. Lord, today, we continue to pray for Sister Sophie as she has is to go through surgery plan through May 23rd. Lord, today we pray that she would have positive thoughts of faith, that you, by the power of your spirit, would strengthen your daughter to know that you have made her and that you are very intimate in terms of her condition, that you know very well what Sophie is going through. So we commit to you, our dear sister Sophie, that you, by the power of your spirit, will speak to her and heal her and touch her body according to your will. Lord, today, Pam is praying for her son, uh, that he has an addictive behavior, Lord Jesus. And we pray for this young man, Lord, that you would break that addictive cycle in his life. We know that nothing's impossible to you, that you can break every yoke, even addiction, as the vow to the power of your name. And so in the name of Jesus, we pray for this young boy, that you would set him free from this addictive behavior. Lord, today, Charmaine, she prays for her family, Kilani who's one year old, Lord Jesus, in ICU and on oxygen today. We lift up Kilani to you, Lord, today. By the power of your spirit, you would touch this young, small little body. We ask it according to your will, according to your power, according to your strength, according to your outstretched hand, that you would touch this young person, Lord Jesus. And by the power of your presence, that you would bring comfort to the family. May they know that you're close, even closer now as they go through this season. Uh, with his precious body, Lord, today we lift him, Kalani, to you now. We ask by the power of your spirit for total healing and restoration. And we ask this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Listen, if you're here and you're watching, please share this with other people. Let them know we're praying for them. Give us your prayer requests. We're here to pray for you. We're going to toss it to our dear sister, Denise Varghese. She's going to pray for the church. And our desire, according to 1 Corinthians 14, to edify one another, to prophesy, yes. to exhort one another, and to comfort one another. Sister Denise, pray for us. Heavenly Father, we give you thanks for all you do. Thank you, Lord, 
because I know that when we pray, your ears are attentive to every word spoken. Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus, your Son, our Lord and Savior. Father God, today I pray for the church to desire the gift of prophecy according to your word in 1 Corinthians 14, 3, which states, but the one who prophesies speaks to people for their strengthening, encouraging, and comfort. Father, may the church desire this gift that only comes from you. May you fill the church with your Holy Spirit and the gift of prophecy. Lord, make it that when we speak, we speak with the words of comfort to those in pain and hurting. May our words strengthen those that may be weak and in the verge of giving up. That our conversations with each other have words that may edify and build each other up. May we emotionally encourage one another with comfort, love, and understanding. Father, as we walk with you, fill us, your church, with your Holy Spirit. Continue to strengthen us through this walk so that the words that we speak to others be administered by you, our Lord and Savior. May we continue to be helpful and a comfort to our brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus. Amen. Let's continue to pray as we will lift up those who are in the hospital and uh, in need of healing. Father, we pray right now. Lord, we know that you're everywhere. There is nothing that is hidden from you. You are omnipotent. You are omniscient. You see, you know. And here's what we can rest in. You care. You're in the hospital, Lord, and for those who have family and those who are in the hospital that need to know that you're there. I pray, God, that when the nurses and doctors show up and those who are serving them, whether it's bringing them food or, or cleaning their room, that they would know that's how you're caring for them. And I pray, Lord, that they would see your tender hand, your loving hand of mercy, that they would feel your peace and your comfort in that room with them, that there will not be a spirit of fear, but there would be a spirit of peace and one of comfort. You are the God of comfort. Would you comfort them, Lord God? And I pray for those who have family members. We lift up Tracy, who today is just calling on you, Lord, to give her peace concerning her father. And what is unknown and doctors trying to ascertain what is going on, what's in the body and what is not in the body and the way to treat it. God, that you would give wisdom, you would lead them, you would give direction. And as our sisters so put it in her request that she is calling out to you and asking you for healing and you're able to miraculously heal. But in all of this, she says, whatever your will is, may, may there be peace within her. May she rest in the truth that you are completely in control and Lord, you are sovereign. So God, we lift up this request before you and this request for for all of those who are looking to you, the sovereign living God, to do what only you can do. May we all trust you to do it how you see fit, what is best and what will bring you glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. We're going to ask Melissa if she would pray for families, for homes to be united, broken homes to be healed, and for single parents. Melissa, would you lead us in prayer? Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I pray now for all the families, Lord, families that know you and don't know you, Lord Jesus. May you visit those families that don't know you, Lord, and that they need you in their home, Lord. I pray for those families right now that somebody will get that call, Lord Jesus. Somebody will hear your voice and they would accept you into their home. For the families that have you in their home, Lord Jesus, we know that this is a big spiritual battle, Lord. Please do not let the enemy win in these homes, Lord. We know that the enemy tries to break down these homes, Lord. So we ask that your Holy Spirit would be in these homes, Lord Jesus, that you would speak to those families, that they would um, have Bible studies and worship you, Lord Jesus, and praise you and talk about you, Lord Jesus. And may these conversations come up in these homes, Lord. We also pray right now for um, single families or single parents, Lord Jesus. We know that it's hard for them, Lord. And we ask that you give them that strength, that healing, that um, everything that they need, Lord Jesus. And we ask that your word and that your voice would be louder than anything that they hear, Lord. 
and that those children that they are raising, Lord, that they would come to know you, Lord, that those parents would plant that seed into their heart, Lord Jesus. We also pray, Lord Jesus, for any for any of the uh, families that need some type of healing or counseling, Lord Jesus, that you would speak to them, Lord. We pray also, I pray also for the head of the household, Lord, and those families that we know that it's very difficult for them, Lord. May you lift them up. May you talk to them. May they seek you, Lord Jesus. May they pray and fast and know you and know your word, Lord Jesus, in these times, Lord. We also pray, Lord, for the broken homes, Lord, the homes that are maybe going to break or already broken, Lord, that you will heal them, Lord. We pray that your Holy Spirit would just find rest and peace within them, Lord. May your will be done in any and all of these situations, Lord Jesus. We know that the family is really important, Lord Jesus, to you. We ask and we pray all of these things in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much, sister. As the Lord is leading our church to talk about the Holy Spirit and the function of the Holy Spirit in our lives, we have been called in this season to go after the gifts of God. We learned this week that there's something in you as a believer that belongs to all of us. It belongs to the body of Christ. And so today, I'm going to ask Brother Andres Calero if he would just pray for the Holy Spirit to reveal the gifts that are have been deposited into this church for the edification, for the exhortation, and for the comfort of Christ the Rock Community Church. I'd like to start with a reading from Ephesians 1, the prayer that Paul gifts to the people of Ephesus and it says I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ the glorious Father would give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him I pray that the perception of your mind may be enlightened so that you may know what is the hope of his calling what are the glorious riches of his inheritance among the Saints and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power to us who believe according to the working of his vast strength. Father God, we come before you, Lord, meditating upon this scripture and the scriptures, Father, that we've heard week in and week out, Lord, pertaining to the Holy Spirit, Father. We pray, Lord, that you continue to use, Lord, your word, that you continue to use, Lord, everything around us, Father, to shine a light on the gifts, Father God, that you've given us, that we may be aware, Father, of those things that you've deposited in us, Lord. As it says in your word that you've given us everything that we need in order to walk in righteousness and godliness, Lord. We thank you, Father. May we believe and know that you have given us these gifts, Father God. And these are not gifts to exalt ourselves, to lift ourselves high, but they are to exalt you, to lift you high, and to help one another. Show us, Father God, how to utilize these gifts, Father God, for your kingdom and for your glory, for our brothers and our sisters, for your children, Father, that you so dearly love. We pray, Father, that you enlighten us, Lord, Give us greater revelation, Father God. Give us greater insight into the workings, Lord, of the spirit that you've given us, that is within us, Lord, the helper that you've placed in our lives, Lord, to lead us and to guide us, Father. So we commend ourselves to you, Father, that you will light all areas in our life, that you would open all avenues, Lord, to reveal the gifts that you've given us, Lord, for your kingdom and for your glory, we pray. And it's in your son, Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, you know, in 2 Timothy chapter 3, we are warned about the dangers of the last days and admonish how to live through them. And one way is that you and I need to know the word of God and be students of the word of God. So our Bible studies will start tonight and we're excited about this session. So why don't you pray with me as men, women, and children will come on our campus tonight to study God's word and be transformed. Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for a place that we can gather. We gather together as disciples, as children who 
uh, we're seeking. We're, we want to understand. We want to learn. We, in our learning, do not want to just know. We want to be doers of your word. Father, we pray tonight as we gather all around this campus and we have our Bibles and we're studying your word, we pray by the power of your Holy Spirit that you would illuminate our understanding, that we would understand what is written to us, what is being said to us, and how we as disciples, followers of Jesus Christ, are to apply it to our lives so that we live out the plan and purpose you have for us. And that is to know you, make you known, and enjoy you forever. Lord God, would you teach us? Would our minds be transformed, our hearts renewed, Lord God? Would we be transformed by the power of your word? May children uh, learn the beginning, Genesis, and may it be rooted and grounded so that when they see a culture that would love to persuade them to go the other way, that they would stand sure-footed on the word of God in Christ who is center in their lives, Lord. We pray for men to be leaders, to rise up, and to know who they are in Christ Jesus, regardless of what culture tries to say about them. They are your image bearers. And Lord, would you strengthen them? May there be vulnerability. May there be brotherhood, camaraderie, and may there be accountability. Lord, we pray for women that as we gather and we connect together, Lord, that we will cease striving and we would know that you are God. And there is no comparison. There is no competition. We are in you. We are your image bearers, fearfully and wonderfully made, Lord God. Teach us, and Lord, may again we be transformed. And may we, Lord, as pastor, just pray, know that what you've put inside of us is for someone else. And we would be able to speak the message of hope to others that we come in contact with. Lord, be glorified. Be on, you, this campus is yours, Lord. We look forward to what you're going to do, and we will give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you so much. Listen, don't forget, we are drive through prayer, 5-7, right out front of the church. If you're in the area, come by, send somebody here that needs to be encouraged. And at 7 p.m., we close out the day with a Zoom call where we conclude in prayer and adoration to our Lord. Easter is around the corner. Do not assume that the people around you have a place to go worship on Easter. You're invited to come and be a part of our Easter services on Sunday, the Holy Week. 13th on through. On the 13th, we have all day prayer live in our church where you can come in to the sanctuary. Starting at 7 a.m., we're here. Doors are open. We're praying all day on the 13th. And closing out with foot washing at 7 p.m. and Absolutely. worship and praise. Absolutely. A full week. And then on Friday, the Little Drummer Boy. Yes. We are looking at the perspective of a little boy who grew up and how he has come to know the Savior of the world. Amen, amen. Looking forward to that. And then on Sunday, Easter Sunday, this is the place you want to be. We want to talk about the eternal hope that we have in Jesus Christ. Until we see you this weekend or maybe this evening in our studies, we pray the Lord bless you. We pray the Lord keep you. We pray the Lord make his face shine upon you. We pray the Lord give you his perfect peace. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit.